Here's your impact. So, single leg hop. Um, you can choose anything you like with this. You can choose a plus pattern, star pattern, I don't mind. As long as they're trying to learn at least some directional change when they're on one leg. So meaning, when I'm on one leg, can I hop forward and then back and maybe to the side and then back and maybe to the side and then back and maybe back and then to the middle. Whew. And there's one sort of rep, if you like. Now you may have to start them off and that's too much. They fatigue, that's too much. They roll at some point. You might just have to get them going, you know what, I just need you just doing that. And some people who are out of surgery, they can't even do that. They have to, we have to start them. Is there regression on that? No, I haven't included that. We have to start them going like this. Oh, it's in the ACL program. Just going from left to right. Because they can't, maybe they've got, their, if they've got an ACL, they've got a hamstring graft. They can't pick up their hammy to get to there. They can't launch off and do that because they've just got no power to do that. It's actually really hard for a recovering ACL. So you might go, I just need to get you used to impact to learn that we need to hop. And so they might just step forward with one. Okay, then they progress to, can they do that? Most people will start, because they don't have the whole strength and the confidence, they'll go, and they'll go really hard, sort of jarring land, which is sort of like a bit of a conundrum because that's bad for an ACL. We don't want them doing this sort of movement and doing very violent sort of type movements. So to get them to learn to land and absorb is quite difficult. So the trick or the tip you've got to make them sure they're doing is they don't land with a stiff knee. They've got to land with a soft knee. I would almost say, pretend you're landing on glass and you don't want to break it. So if I do this and go, just got to break it. So if I land and go and make that a real soft feeling, I'm not going to break that glass. And they'll start using more mechanisms in their leg as like a concertina sort of compression reduction going on there. So if they bend at those two, three points, there's less impact through the knee. Hence why we try and make sure they bend when they land. So that's your single leg hop. To progress that, we get them onto a height. Because it's more difficult for the back leg to hamstring. No more increase in really impact. I haven't increased the load. This is just more difficult. It's a bit more scary. So they're going to go, they can go back to one leg and learn that they've got to get up onto a height. So that's their first thing. Then you're going to go, okay, now I want you to go one to one. And that's the whole thing where they're going at that point. You can see I'm just, you know, fall off a little bit. Okay, don't fall off. So they've got to land, hold. The whole thing about is can I absorb that impact through my leg and maintain it. So you're going to try them train, not that they can do it, get their form really good as far as I need you to land. It's not just about the hop, it's about the landing as much as the hop. Things to notice on that, when they take off, even if you get a video or your phone out and video them and slow them down nicely on, the, on your little phone, do they do this? When they, before they come off. So as soon as they load, they're doing that movement, which is that precursor to ACL injury. So make sure that if that is happening, you're going to try and correct that, get them observant of it. And it may be just that the fact, not, might be not a weakness because hopefully you've fixed all that by now, but that's still happening. Is that a pattern of movement, mode of control issue? Do they just need to practice, stop doing? That might be one of those things like, just stop doing that. Okay, and they might be able to correct their form a little bit more and improve the way they land. Because technically you should have worked out or fixed any of that strengthening work through there. All right, so that's your hop. Um, what you can do is also hop down. So going from here, start them off one to two. And that position, make sure again they're not going bang like that. They're using all the absorption. And then you're going to have to go, the scary one is one to one, and to there. And I find with every single, every single one of my ACL or any knee surgery clients, they go here, and the first thing they do is go, you know, they cannot 
bang, go into a squat. They can do squats, they can do single leg squats, but they can't, as soon as they land, they can't do the real quick eccentric and hold because they don't have enough experience or strength or fear avoidance with that. So they've got to learn how to get into that position. And that does take quite a decent knee to do that. So you've got to start off slowly, that's where you start with a low box, and then build and build and build till they get a high box where they're going down and landing like that. That's end stage programming, right at the end, before they're licensed to go off and play their sport or whatever they're gonna do. You might end up you know, getting this sort of movement first, and then they slowly get confident and go to higher and higher and higher, and then go from one to one. 